Welcome back. In this video I will focus on diagnostic procedures and Monica's failure in performing the most important step of the diagnostic procedure, verify the repair. As in any discipline, there are basic procedures for different situations. Most automotive technicians who have professional training will use a six-step strategy-based diagnostic procedure. 1. Verify the concern. 2. Visual inspection. 3. Isolate the root cause. 4. Verify the root cause. 5. Repair the problem. and 6. Verify the repair. The goal of strategy-based diagnostics is to provide the technician with a proven method to form a plan of action to successfully complete a task the first time in a timely manner and eliminate unnecessary parts replacements and incomplete repairs. Step 1. Verify customer concern. Operate system to duplicate the concern. This would require a pre-road test to bring the vehicle to its proper operating temperature and pressures which would help in isolating any fluid leaks. Step 2. Make quick checks. Do a visual inspection. According to a Ford workshop manual, it states under engine oil leaks, when diagnose, diagnosing engine oil leaks, the source and location of the leak must be positively identified prior to repair. The prior to carrying out this procedure, clean all sealing surface areas with a suitable solvent to remove all traces of oil. A technical service bulletin entitled Engine Oil Leak Service Tip states, Clean the engine of oil residue prior to, to diagnosing. Note, an extremely small or slow oil leak may require several hours or an extended drive for the leak to appear. Now, if the engine is not clean, prior oil, oil residue may lead to a false diagnosis. Now, these statements would also apply when checking leaks in other systems, such as the cooling and the power steering system. This is not only basic knowledge, but also plain common sense. Step 4. Check bulletins. Check bulletins based on defined symptoms. Now, technical service bulletins or, T or TSBs are provided to technicians to help in solving concerns in different disciplines of automotive repair. Two very important TSB TSBs concerning the power steering system are the power steering pump replacement tips and the power steering system analyzer. The first TSB, power steering pump replacement tips, suggest the use of a power steering analyzer to detect different concerns with the system, including leaks, which has indicated a high number of no trouble found results. Also, the power steering system analyzer should be utilized to assist the technician in a successful diagnosis. The TSB also suggests other recommendations to help improve customer satisfaction and to reduce comebacks, such as bleeding the system. And finally, skipping steps may cost you time and trouble later. The second TSB, Power Steering System Analyzer, showed by using the analyzer, unnecessary pump and gear replacement are decreased significantly and vehicles can be fixed right the first time. Step 5. Diagnose Symptoms. Use public steps with closest matching symptoms. Use special tools as needed. Now, following the symptom chart for power steering fluid leaks, it shows to inspect the more obvious components first, such as fittings, hoses, reservoir, pump, and then the gear or rack. The last step in this process is to operate the system to verify the repair. The second system chart, power steering, power steering system test procedure, is used to check for the correct pressures in the system. The final two steps are to repair the problem and verify the repair. Operate system to verify repair. Now, According to a 2001 Chevy Malibu service manual under general information, it states, after isolating the cause, make the repairs and validate for proper operation. Verify that the symptom has been corrected, which may involve road testing the vehicle. An important note here, it is not the responsibility of the customer to verify repairs. Now, all of these TSBs, diagnostic trouble codes, maintenance charts, and symptom charts can be found on all data or Mitchell One on Demand. These are the two most utilized resources in the automotive industry. 
This vehicle had three diagnostic trouble codes stored in memory. First, a diagnostic trouble code is a five-digit code stored in, a, in the control module's memory that specifies a component or a system malfunction. Diagnostic trouble code P0113. The intake air temperature sensor registered a high resistance due to being left disconnected and unable to reach normal operating temperature. Step 6 in the pinpoint test says to check for a faulty electrical connection at the IAT sensor. Problem found and fixed. Diagnostic trouble code P0305, a cylinder number 5 misfire. This vehicle was first brought in with 130,640 miles. The maintenance chart shows we placed the spark plugs at 60,000 miles. Step 8 in the pinpoint test says to remove the spark plugs and visually and physically inspect the spark plug for a faulty condition. Replace spark plugs due to overgapped. Monica utilizes the Shade Tree Mechanic approach to diagnose concerns in order to maximize customer repairs, resulting in fraudulent price gouging of parts and exorbitant labor costs. This concludes the diagnostic procedure portion. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.